Yo guys, what's going on? It's Yugo here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods into your Sims 4 with the newest update of the June 2020 update, guys, which includes Eco Lifestyle and also all the other updates that come along with this update. And trust me, I'm loving the update. How about you guys? Are you guys enjoying the update that has come out, guys? If you are, then let me know down in the comment section below, guys, because I'm loving it. If you guys want to see gameplay of me playing that game, let me know, guys, because I'm up for that. Just to let everyone know that if you did install the version that I put out the other day and if you did install the same version as what I'm using you can use mods and you can also use CC and custom content guys the file is located in a different location to what it's normally located in but you can install it and it's easy enough to do so so today I'm going to show you how to do that one thing you will need to make sure is when you load up your sims 4 before you install any CC or before you want them to work you have to go into your sims 4 and go into settings and find the setting that says enable script mod and enable cheats guys Guys, make sure you click them and both of them are ticked and then close the game or restart the game and install your CC and your CC should all be installed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously get your CC or your mods. Guys to do this I use a site called The Sims Resources. I also know a lot of other sim players who use this website and it's it's awesome guys. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things on this website guys from Sims 4 to Sims 1 as well guys. If you are playing any of the Sims then you can go in here and get custom content for any of these Sims including mods guys they do have mods you can search stuff you can have an account and you can also pay monthly where you can just add stuff to basket and then you can extract it all as a zip file instead of trying to install each and every single individual item guys it saves a lot of time so just to let everyone know that that is an option but you can use this site guys there's also plenty of other sites out there but i'm just using this one for a example guys so to download something that's all you need to do if you don't have an account that's all you need to do to download something guys is go on to the item that you you want to install for example i want to install this right here then click download once you've downloaded it the item will be put down here and it'll show in folder and it'll go into your normal folder and i'm going to put it onto my desktop just to show you guys how this works so these three right here these are all some cc that i've installed guys and i've downloaded so to put them into my game that's all you're going to do guys is go into your file location so as you can see here, I'm in my file location, guys. Now you can do this two ways, okay? If you're using the cracked version, then you can go to documents. Electronic arts file will be in your documents, guys. You double click that, the Sims 4 and mods. There it is. If you don't have a mods folder, then that's all you have to do is right click, new, folder, and just name it mods. That's simple and that's easy. I'm not going to do this because I already have a folder in there and I don't want to lose anything. So yeah guys, that's how simple it is to install mods. Um, it's literally so simple. So if you do have the cracked version, then that's all you have to do is go into your documents, electronic arts, the sims 4. But if you can't find it in there guys and you've saved it somewhere else, that's all you have to do is go to your quick access on your file documents in, in your file explorer guys and type in electronic arts and it should come up and it'll be right there guys under sims 4 and your mods folder is right there now to get your game to get the custom content onto your game that's all you have to do guys is find the file and drag it down and it'll be imported guys now i've already got that so i'm going to skip and sorted that's literally how easy it is to import any sort of mods into your game guys as long as you follow all these steps guys and as long as you do everything i've done in this video then you should officially have mods and cc into your actual game it's so simple it's so easy and it's so fun trust me once you get into the hang of downloading and installing mods and cc you're not going to stop it's so much fun and it makes the game 20 times more realistic and 20 times more fun guys i hope this little video has helped a lot of you guys i've had some requests to do this video so i thought i'd chuck it out there and get it done it's simple it's easy to do and it's lots of fun in the long run guys so i do hope you will enjoy it's been your girl and if you do enjoy and if you do want to see any more videos let me know down in the comment section below guys i'm about to make a twitch account i'm not a twitch person i do not like twitch but i'm going to make a twitch account to start playing some sims and stuff like that on twitch guys so if you any of you guys do want to come over to my twitch account let me know and um, we can play some sims. I'm going to be completing or trying to complete the eco lifestyle quest, guys. And uh, try and make my town in sims a healthy town to live in, guys. So if you want to see that, then head over to my Twitch. Once I've made it, I will link it down in the comment section or in the bio. So, guys, if you want to see any videos on my YouTube, such as any sort of sims tutorials or how to plays or let's plays, then let me know, guys, and I'll do them as well. It's been your girl. It's been fun making this little video for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.